Hello again. Lovely to see you. This week's episode is going to be the easiest photograph that I'm going to do on this channel, I reckon. Except it isn't. Let me explain. To that I just want to say that this is not an original photograph by any means it's not something that I'm going to be the first person to do um, thanks for that really go to several people I remember seeing this photograph uh, uh, taken by a guy called David Ball um, David Ball photography I know that I know that Neil Burnell has shot it he shot it in some mist um, and also my mate Sean Mills, who goes by the name of Mersey Millsy, gave me the heads up. He shot this really well and gave me the heads up on the conditions that I needed. So I want to say thank you to those guys. But if this shoe comes out the way I'm expecting it to, I'm hoping it's going to come out, this is going to be a portfolio image. Um, and that's quite something for the middle of the day. So another 10 minutes to go in the car and then probably a 10 minute walk when I'm actually at location I'll tell you all about how this is not quite as easy to photograph as maybe I've been making out see you in a minute so the reason this photograph is not as easy as I've made out is because of this I need the tide in and today is only one of three days this last couple of months where the tide is going to be high enough <laughs> because this picture is going to be a long exposure photograph of these lovely beach huts 1624 I'm going to print it I'm going to show you I'm going to get very excited and I'm going to put it on my website let's get to work so we've got the camera, just got to be careful, there's a really convenient wall here um, but the legs can easily slip in the gap so I'm just going to be a little bit careful without getting too excited. Um, I'm going to use for this, I want a two minute at least exposure because I want to completely blur this water and this is going to be, some people would call it minimalist, um, it's long exposure photography, some people would call it uh, photographic art I guess, so I'll let you decide but um, what I've got on the front, so we've got a polarizer here because that's going to take the glare of the water and then here we've got a 16 stop neutral density filter, see that slipped in there, it's on the back slot so that we've got no light leaks and that's going to slow the shutter speed down to something around two minutes because it's the middle of the day i'm wearing jeans and a pair of trainers i've had to walk about 100 yards so easy easy picture um, but there's only two or three times every couple of months that you can photograph it so i'm going to focus up with the polarizer on and then i'm going to do a test shot now high tide is actually another half an hour so and it's already high enough I've been here twice before first time half successfully and the last time I came here was two weeks ago and it was high tide but the tide was nowhere near high enough and it didn't touch the legs of these uh, beach huts so I had to buy a timetable a tide table and work out when I can come and I've put this in my diary so now and yesterday although I was busy yesterday is the optimum time to photograph this <coughs> So that really is 
all I need to do. I mean, the, the composition is pretty straightforward. Just want to make sure I've got no grasses and any of the verge on the right hand side here. I mean, there's, there's a cafe or something or some chalets over there because I want this to just be the huts and the water. So very, very minimalist. Um, at the moment, I'm halfway through a four minute exposure. Uh, we're on F13. I've focused on the third hut along, which will give me enough depth of field. I'm gonna do at least three of these. Um, I might focus stack this as well so that I've got everything sharp. Um, but those huts are just gorgeous. And this will work equally well in color and black and white. And I haven't really decided what this is gonna be. Um, black and white gives me a bit more of a minimalist kind of fine art kind of feel, but color might also be quite nice. So that's the plan. Um, I'm really surprised actually that the tide is this far in. Um, it may be that it opens up possibilities of doing this another time, but I mean, it's just the most pleasant thing. I've had a nice coffee in the car, not far to walk. It's 11 degrees, it's the middle of February. Yeah, great. Right, 50 seconds to go. I'm gonna have a little look and see what that looks like. I'm gonna make sure that I thoroughly check this by looking at it on the back of the screen. The crop I've gone for, I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear, is a 6524. Um, and that's really how I envisaged it. I'm going to have to get some, my panoramic paper that I've got, I haven't got the color profiles, the custom profiles done for them. I sent the paper off, but photos, I don't know they lost them or whether I didn't put them in, I don't know, but this is gonna be photo printed out on, a, on some photographic panoramic paper, but I might end up doing it on the paper that I normally use, the A2 paper, and have this printed out. So, nothing. Oh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, Lee, who make the filters that I'm using, have got a, uh, an app. So on my phone, I'm gonna go to have a look and see and work out the exposure because I've just photographed it with the camera using the camera meter system uh, and it doesn't work at all, miles out. So I've had to open the aperture up to F6.4, which is not very much, but that should give me a four minute exposure according to the app. So what I will also do is I'll do an eight minute exposure, which it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. That gives me another stop of depth of field to get everything in focus. And then I'm also gonna try and shoot one focus stacked. So um, not quite as easy as it looks, I guess. Right, let's go and do that. So this is the Lee Pro Glass filter app. And the first thing that you have to do is go along the top and select your filter. And I've got a 15 neutral density filter on front. So I took it off to start with, metered it, was getting a 15th of a second. But as you can see, that was giving me 32 minutes as an exposure. So I decided that I could adjust the aperture to get one two fifth of a second. And that gave me four minutes. So that's what we ended up doing. Well, this is proving really difficult. I've only taken two shots. One was so dark you couldn't see it and the noise would be horrendous. Then I've used the app, the Lee Exposure app, to, to work this out properly. Um, and the exposure just come out of the camera it looks very blurry. The sun keeps coming in and going out as well, which doesn't help with a four minute exposure. I've taken the polarizer off the front though, just in case that's causing a problem. Um, and that gives me the benefit of, of giving me another stop and a bit on the depth of field. So I've now gone down to F9. I've still got a four minute exposure. Hopefully this will be the one, because if not, I'm gonna start to panic, but I can't see what else it can be. So luckily the sun's gone in a bit. I'm still getting plenty of high tide. So I reckon I've now got, high tide is actually 
in about five minutes time but I've been photographing half an hour so I reckon I've still got half an hour the other side as well so don't panic Dave don't panic we'll get there right let's see what this one looks like okay panic over that's all looking fine um, I've now gone to f10 a two second exposure because I think that's still going to be enough to blur the water just recomposed and now what I'm going to do is uh, just to check I've got everything right I've just looked at it again So this may seem a bit odd, but I put my hat over the camera, not because it's cold, but because with long exposures, what I've noticed in the past is you can sometimes get light back through the viewfinder uh, and it degrades the quality. There's also some sun from the left-hand side here. So I might just do another one just with my hat over the, over the filter a little bit, just to stop the light bleeding in the side because I don't want any flare on this because anything like that would degrade the image and the, the idea of this is a fine art absolute top quality picture and I want everything to be dead sharp so this is the second exposure this one's four minutes though because uh, I've, I've shot a two minute one and I think it does need four to two minutes it's a little bit too dark so four minute exposure is what we're going to do I've shot one now I'm then going to do another one with the hat over the top just to make sure that I've covered it. I'm mean, going to only need one image, but it's really important as it doesn't come very, along very often to get this right. So, so I hope you've enjoyed that. The, uh, let me show you the print now. enjoy that it's been nerve-wracking but it's taken a long while I've had to wait like three weeks for this um, and but it, I'm, I'm sure it's worth it at the end the sky is completely clear which is what I wanted so that works well the only thing I'd like is fog but can't have everything so thanks ever so much for watching um, if you haven't subscribed consider doing so and I will see you next time goodbye